Okay YouTube, so we have another project we're going to do today. Uh, if everybody tuned into my last video, I was just showing you how to uh, replace the seals on the, on the bucket ram. And it's up there. And uh, if you watched my last video, I said I was going to make another quick video on how to bleed the air out of the system. Well, it turns out once you start the machine and go up and down with the bucket once or twice, there's no air in it. Just kind of back feeds through the system, goes in the tank, and just kind of, you know, whatever, disappears. So it wasn't really any video to make on it. But today we're going to do a different project. So let's see what we got here. Anybody recognize that stuff? Okay. It is for the hydraulic uh, control valve. So when I bought the machine, <clears throat> the bucket went up and down, or the boom went up and down, but it didn't have the float position on it. Uh, I don't know if you push the pedal all the way down for float or if it's halfway down and then, I'm not really sure how it works, but all I know is that the float wasn't working. So when I went back inside the machine here, I looked and up at the spool, I don't know if you can see that, I think you can, that round guy up there, that's the spool for the... Uh, for the up and down on the ram. That was laying on the floor down in here when I got the machine. So somebody might have either changed the seals on it and then uh, the two little ball or the four little ball bearings and the spring came out of it and they're laying down in here somewhere or they took them out for one reason or another. I'm not really sure but but anyways I went to my local Bobcat dealer and bought these guys over here you know seven dollars or whatever so I just figured I'm gonna replace the seals on the spool valve or on the control valve and then uh, you know put these ball bearings and springs in there so I'll show you what I did so far and then we'll just do a little step by step on taking the thing apart so you have to you know obviously put the cab up I put the uh, the boom up just you know so I can get inside here a little easier you can go over the top I guess but I just decided to go over the top. So back in here, this is, I might need light. This is the control valve right in here. Okay, and that thing right there with the hole in it, that's the linkage. It connects to this piece here, which goes around the machine and goes up to that front pedal there. So that is the up and down on the ram, or on the, uh, you know, on the, yeah, on the boom. So I had to take this part out. This goes in from underneath, goes up underneath the two holes, and then it has these two pins in it, or this part goes over the top, and then these two pins. So I just pop those off real quick and drop this guy out from the bottom. And now, from what I understand, I can just take the two bolts off the spool inside and just be able to pull this, pull this guy. He'll slide right through the right through the control valve and out the back, and then I should have everything in my hand to bring over to the bench. To take apart but we'll see so uh, hang on let me uh, let me get that thing all right here we go so I went in the back of the machine and uh, was able to get in there and pull this nut out here or bolt out here and this one here it goes over the top of this guy here ah, stupid heater. and uh, hang on a minute so oh, I don't have my light this unbolts out the back. I just built a gigantic extension because I don't have the long enough tool to get back there. But if you have it a long enough extension, it's pretty just a, a straight shot in there. Pull those out. This cap comes off here, and I can see now that one of the springs in the ball bearings goes through this hole, and then this cap goes over the top. So somebody pulled this cap off, um, you know, either to replace the seals or to pull these ball bearings out for some reason or another or they had a leak or something so whatever happened they pulled this cap out this ball bearing went flying that one went flying the spring came out but if you look I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not but if you look down in here you can you can see a ball bearing right there and another one right there so I don't have to go any further and take this apart because those bearing that those two ball bearings and that spring are in there so all I'm gonna do now is uh, put the spring in here, compress these two ball bearings in there, slide it over, you know, slide it inside of this guy here, 
and then install the whole thing back in the machine and I should be going so um, I'll uh, I'd like to show you step by step how to do it but I think I'm gonna need uh, three or four hands on this one so stand by holy crap that was kind of a pain so <clears throat> underneath here is that spring runs through here and then there's a ball bearing on each side so what I did is I kind of cocked the I put the ball bearing in the spring on the on the one side cocked the cap and put it over the top of that ball bearing this ball bearing was uh, exposed and I took this this guy here and it's, since it's got a little indentation on the top I was able to put that over the top of the bearing push down and then slide the cap over the top now unfortunately I lost two of the, the bearings they're over there somewhere or over there somewhere bounced off my forehead hit the wall and went somewhere else so obviously I can't change the ones that are under here now because they're gone but anyways it seems like this part here this spring if you just stand this on end and compress this down the ball bearings that go underneath here will be exposed so if you compress this somehow and then put a new spring in and put the bearings in and squeeze them and slide that back up it, it'll go on just like this did so now that this cap is on <clears throat> we're gonna take this part here slide that over everything and then there's a little washer and a c-clip that go on uh, oh you know over that around here now this whole thing will be all together and I can slide that all in as one unit and then just screw it back in so I'll I'll show you once I put the c-clip on uh, what we're gonna do next okay there you have it I slid this uh, spool over the top uh, put the washer on and uh, put the c-clip on now everything is all in one piece it's not gonna come apart and you can slide the whole thing back in the machine so if you ever for any reason need to take this off or if you feel like you have to take the valve out for whatever you got to do but just whatever you do don't take these clips off and just pull this off because as soon as you do a set of ball bearings and a spring are going to go flying. So what you have to do is come under here and just remove the linkage. Just take the linkage off there and uh, this part this this part is the part that sticks out. I just have a little uh, plastic uh, tube in there to keep the oil from coming out. But So that tube right where that tube is this thing comes out and then uh, it connects to that that part right there which in turn connects that foot thing so just pull these two pins out drop this out of the way and then undo these two bolts from under underneath the back this whole thing will slide right out and then you can go over to the bench and take this apart if you have to if the seals are bad but don't whatever you do don't take that off while it's in the machine uh, I'll make another video when I have it all back together well it wasn't pretty uh, but with a little bit of patience and uh, some redneck ingenuity I was able to get that that back on you have to go underneath everything uh, the plate has two pins coming through it and I had to actually take this here and uh, put it in the right angle get it underneath and hold everything up and then I was able to put it back on but uh, it's back on so we're gonna we're gonna see if we got uh, float now